Shalom, covenant keepers and children of Israel. I've got some exciting news for you today. Uh, registration is open for the first ever Torah Observant Covenant Keeper Sukkot, or TOX for short. Um, we, we wanted to jump on here for a minute today and just give you a list of things uh, to expect. I'm going to run you through the how to get to the website, how to register. So if you're watching this video, you can go through all of that. But um, I'm just, I'm kind of got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to put out in this video. So if I make a few mistakes here and there, I'm not going to try to redo it. Uh, time is short. So if I stumble on some words or something like that, you're just going to have to forgive me this time. Um, so I, I wrote this thing up, so I'm just going to read through that real quick. I'll stop here and there and elaborate maybe on some things, but I, I think me writing it down and reading through it will help me get the information out in a more concise way. Um, I know it's not my favorite thing to listen to somebody else read either, but bear with me on this and then we'll go, th we'll go through some of the, how to get on the website, how to register and all that kind of stuff. But let me read through this real quick. It's just a page and a half, so uh, bear with me. Uh, it says, exciting news. Registration is now open for the first ever Torah Observant Covenant Keeper Sukkot, or TOX. I think I already said that. Uh, the time has finally come, and we couldn't be more thrilled to announce the registration is officially open for TOX. This is a unique and unprecedented gathering where believers from all over can come together and celebrate Sukkot in, t in a Torah Observant community. Uh whether you're a seasoned Sukkot celebrant or this is your first time, this event promises a life change. Life promises to be a life changing experience. Uh, why you should register today? Okay, uh, number one is limited accommodations and amenities. Okay, so if you, I'm gonna stop there for just a second. If you're looking for a cabin, uh, private cabin, if you're looking for one of the lodge rooms or or one of the dorm beds, uh, those things are limited. Uh, so. If you're going to register and you haven't gone to to, to register anywhere yet, uh, you need to do that now, okay? Because once those are gone, we, we can't invent anymore. Uh, we almost have unlimited rough camping, though. So let me let me put that out there. If you're rough camping, there's almost unlimited. I believe the the site that we've we've got will hold up to uh, ten or fifteen thousand people. Uh, so. It's a, the, the amount of space and the amount of room that we have is amazing. We have a, a huge amphitheater out there that'll set about 10,000 people. Uh, so it's, it's sure to be amazing. I realized this year, uh, the calendars are off a little bit. So we have some people on the Hillel calendar and then we have others that are on the same calendar we are. The sighted new moon Abib barley calendar. If you're on that calendar, this is the Sukkot for you. Uh, I know that some of you uh, are on that calendar and you lost your old Sukkot sites that you've been going to uh, because they're on a different calendar this year. Well, we want you at our Sukkot this year. We want you to to come in and, and experience Sukkot with us. Give us a try. Um, this is the first time that, as we've said, that, that Awaken the Torah is going to be hosting the Sukkot site uh, in this way. Uh, we hope that this continues. We, we want it to become one of the more, more premier uh, Sukkot sites in the United States. However, this is our first year and we are late getting to the, to the show this year, uh, because we had some things that we needed to take care of. We had some, we had some house cleaning that we needed to take care of. We'll just say that, uh, before, before we open registration. So we wanted to make sure that we didn't open our registration, uh, before the other registrations were closed. Okay. We don't want people running around saying we're trying to steal people from them and all of that kind of stuff, because that's not what we're about. Uh, we don't we don't want to do kind of those kinds of things. Uh, we've seen it happen in the past, and we want to support other ministries. We want to support them uh, serving Yahweh to the best way of their abilities. Okay, uh, so so let's let's leave that where it's at. Uh, the event dates. Okay, so if you're if you're on the side of New Moon calendar, uh, we're looking at the 18th being the first day of Sukkot and. Uh, the 26th being the last day of Sukkot, if you're staying for the full eight days. Uh, however, this we have a very tight window at this camp. So everybody has to be up and out of there uh, by, by uh, we would prefer noon to 2 p.m. at the latest on the 27th. Okay, so everything probably needs to be packed uh, the evening before on the 26th. And, and you should be able to get up, have a bite to eat and roll out uh, 
that morning on the 27th if, if you haven't already left. Uh, we know some people only stay the seven days and they, they return home for the for the eighth great day. Uh, if you do that, fine. Uh, but we those people who do stay for the great eighth day, uh, we need you to be very aware of the time schedule here uh, as there's very, very uh, minimal uh, room for fudging here because they have another group coming in uh, that same day. Okay, food and fellowship. Uh, there, there are meals available on site, okay? Uh, Tom and, and, and the people there and, and some of our volunteers are going to help with that. Uh, so the meal plan is probably the most reasonable I have ever seen. Uh, we're looking at $18 a day per person. Uh, instead, of, instead of charging $10 to $12 a meal, uh, we thought that we would just do a, a day plan and uh, that we're thinking that that's going to be three meals. It could be two, breakfast and lunch for sure. Uh, but <clears throat> we're hoping that it, that the money stretches out far enough to have three meals a day for that $18. So it's either going to cost you $6 a meal or $9 a meal. Okay, uh, we're, we're not sure on that yet because as we said, this is the first year. Uh, we're, we're just trying to work this thing out and see how it best works out this year and we'll make it work out better next year. Again, uh, so on the 27th, the 27th is a, is a weekly Sabbath. So we will not be uh, having them provide us a meal on, on, on the Sabbath. That would be a pitch-in day. So whatever you've brought to the camp, or whatever you fixed the day before, all of that kind of stuff. We're going to bring all that together on the 27th for breakfast and for dinner. Now, you're going to be on your own for lunch, but for breakfast and for dinner, especially for those, the, maybe our older crowd who who uh, doesn't want to camp and barbecue and all that kind of stuff, you know, during Sukkot, they, they want that, uh, that stability of just being able to go to the cafeteria and get a meal. Uh, we have that available. And we're going to have it available on Shabbat as well because we're all going to come in together as a community on the 27th on Sabbath and have breakfast and, and dinner together as well. And we'll all pitch in for that. Um, the fourth item that I needed to talk about is affordability and, and inclusiveness. Okay. I worked really hard to, to make this the most affordable Sukkot site in the United States. For, for what we are getting here, I'm telling you, you will not find another Sukkot site anywhere in the United States that provides what we're about to provide for anywhere near this price. Okay, yeah, you're going to see when you go to when you go to register, uh, it is amazing. And and Tom and the group there at at uh, Camp Eagle Rock has made that possible for us to do that. And it's a, it's just amazing how the Father has orchestrated this whole thing. Uh, but with that said, we are not going to take advantage of them. Uh, it's not, not going to happen. So everybody above the age of 10, okay. And everybody above the age of 10, when you go to register, uh, you need to click that, that volunteer button. Uh, cause I, if you're 10 years old, you can pick up trash off the ground. You can, you can haul trash to the trash cans. You can help somebody uh, else do something. I mean, uh, so if you're 10 years old and above, uh, I want your family to volunteer you for something. And every, everybody, the whole camp's going to be volunteers, everybody. Uh, that way we can make this thing the biggest success as we possibly can. Uh, affordable and inclusive. Okay, so so if you're if you're not physic if you're if you're not physically able to volunteer for anything, I mean I'm sure we could find something for you to do, if you, even if it's to set it at a table and have people, you know, make sure that people sign up for stuff. Okay, you can do that. Uh, even even if you even if you have a handicap, okay. So so let's have everybody above the age of ten volunteer for something. Uh, now here's the exciting part because this is the first year of of this event. We literally need everything. We need teachers. We need breakout session hosts. We need uh, praise and worship leaders. We need uh, singers, musicians, dance leaders. We need everything. OK, so we we are just trusting the father that he is going to provide all of that stuff. OK, now we, we have some teachers and we can we can take care of music if we want to. But we would rather have you 
participate in that. We would rather have you operating in the calling that the Father's called you to do. Okay, so if you're a praise and worship leader, if you're a singer, if you're a musician, if you're if you're any of those things, if you're a sound engineer, if you're if I don't care. If the Father has called you to do something in, in those fields, please get a hold of us. We we would we would like to see if we can fit you in somewhere. Uh again, just like the accommodations, those positions are limited. So I mean, we we don't need 13 drummers on the stage. I, I wish we were that big, but but we just don't. Okay, so so if if you're a, mu- a musician and or a singer or something like that, uh, please get a hold of us. Let's let's see if we can orchestrate something and put you in contact with other musicians and singers so we can get uh, some amazing praise and worship out there. Okay. Uh, if you know anything about Awakening Tour Ministries, we want praise and worship. We want dance. We want the Holy Spirit to be moving in such a way that it is changing people's lives. That's where we want. Uh, otherwise, what are we doing this for? Uh, I I can go. I can put up a tent in my backyard and, and camp out there. Um, we do have some amazing teachers. We have some. We have some well known. Uh, we have some lesser known. Uh, that. But every one of them have these amazing things that the Father has laid on their on their hearts to reveal to you. So come expecting. That's that's always the rule with Awaken the Torah. Come expecting because if you come expecting, Yahweh will show up. That's that's the that's the amazing thing. Um, let's see. Um, I went over breakout sessions, teachers and leaders. I went over musicians, singers and bands, uh, technical support. You know, if you if you're if you're good with lighting, if you're good with sound, if you're good with any of that stuff, get a hold of us. Um, I did talk about the positions there. Uh, number six, prepare for your stay. Okay, so Camp Gorok is not a luxury hotel. It is a camp, okay? So if you're planning on staying in one of the cabins, if you're uh, planning on staying in, in the lodge or anywhere like that, bring your own bedding. Uh, the bedding is not provided. Bring your own towels. Uh, bring your own underwear. So that that stuff is not provided for you, okay? So so please show up prepared uh, to make your stay as comfortable as possible. Uh, the the beds and the mattresses are are provided with that, but but that it's just a cabin. Um, so all of all of your bedding, anything that you want in there. If you if you want, um, I I I went out there last two weeks ago. I'm just pause here because I know. Um, some people want to know this. I went out there a few weeks ago, and there's this row of cabins that's made to look like an old town, like an old western town. You'll see a picture of it here in a minute. Uh, I'll show you. Actually, let me let me just do that right now. I'll see if I can find that picture and change it out for you. So let's see. Nope, nope, nope. Mm. Okay, so. I'm going to change this picture out. So this is the main lodge. Just just so I can go through these pictures real quick and show you guys. This is the main lodge. Um, this, um, this is where we will do... It's a store. So this is where we'll do the marketplace. Okay. Um, and then... This is some of the accommodations. This is some of the cabins down on the, on the bottom end. Uh, I think they sleep 12 or 14 um not 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 real for sure um this is the ca- kind of cabin that you're going to get you're going to get something like this if you're getting a cabin uh two bed a, a two bunk bed four bunk bed a bunk bed and a queen i think there's another one over here let's see um let's see if i can find the one that actually has the queen bed in it um Okay, sorry. Okay, so this is one with the queen bed in it. Fireplace, you have bunk beds on this side. You also have bunk beds on this side. There's a queen bed here in the middle, fireplace, uh, that kind of stuff. So so I went out there a couple weeks ago, and I looked around when there was a large group out there. I think there was 500, maybe 1,000 people out there at that point. And the people had rented these cabins. I'm going to show you this, this line of small cabins if I can find them here. Um, okay, I'll show you this while I'm here so I don't forget it. Uh, this 
is the pool house. There's a there's a uh, in ground swimming pool here um, for everybody to to enjoy. Um, this, if you see this building behind me, that's where all the music equipment, all this is. This is the stage for the amphitheater. Uh, it should be about, I mean, as I said, about 10,000 people is, is what they think. Um, this is the, is the small climbing wall. We'll have some sessions out there. Um, you'll see that. And let me see. Okay, I showed you that picture. I uh, showed you that one. Trying to find the so so this is the typical outside of a cabin that you'll see okay uh, if you're on in one of the single cabins that's that there these are just littered throughout the property and uh, it's just it's just an amazing experience you you and your family are just going to be more than overjoyed with with the facilities here um, I'll show you this this is the the lodge where everybody will come to eat and and that type of stuff if you're getting meals. Um, that's the best way for me to do it. Just show you a picture and then and then talk about it a little bit. Here is the climbing wall, the tower. If you look right over here, there's a zip line uh, in there that, that if you make it to the top of the tower, you can go down the zip line. It's just going to be an amazing experience. We're going to have all of these, these cool things happening here. Uh, there's some more cabins, just, just so you can see them. Um, let's see. Rough camping. Okay, so this is how they had their rough camping set up out there before. I mean, there's just tents on both sides of the road. Uh, I'm not sure about power and water and all of that kind of stuff. I, I know that the, the town is down here, so I know you can get power there somehow. Uh, extension cords, that kind of stuff. So, but I don't want to make just, just understand it's rough camping. Uh, there, I think that there's water and, and, uh, electricity available there, but I don't know. So understand it's rough camping. That's, that's, that's what it is. Um, and then, uh, let's see, showed you the pool, showed you the camping. Okay. So another activity, they have bows, they have a bow range out there with some 3D targets, that, that type of stuff, which we will be utilizing that as well. Um, let's see, uh, cabins, climbing walls. Uh, this is one of the lodges down here in the bottom that we'll be utilizing for teaching. This cabin's down here on the sides. There's another pool down there. Uh, this is where the RV space is and all that is, is as well. You, you'll see when you come into the camp. Let me continue to go down here and see if I can find, I want to find a picture of those cabins. Okay, so this is another set of cabins here side by side. Um, let me see. Okay, I'm having difficulty finding that row of cabins, but I'll find them here in just a second. But I keep seeing other stuff I want to show you. So down here in the bottom, there's actually another pool. There's actually four four huge pools like this on the place. So it's plenty of swimming, and I'm sure we're going to have plenty of swimming activities. Um, there's soccer fields. There's gaga ball there's nine square there's i mean all of that all of that stuff for the kids and the family uh this is this is another dining hall here it's huge commercial dining hall um and i still haven't found found the cabins that i'm looking for to, sh to show you because it's probably one of the coolest things i've i've uh, seen uh okay <laughs> Okay, so here's here's a set of cabins up here at the top. Looks like an old west town, but that's not still not the set of cabins that I'm looking to show you. This uh, this other one is super cool. Okay, so more cabins, more cabins. There's cabins everywhere on this place. So if I sat and showed you every one of them, here it is. Okay, you can see behind my head there. These are just cabins. They have a bunk on, on each side. Uh, 
made to look like a little small town. And then down here, there is a, a, a dorm type deal that, that people can stay. Uh, if you go all the way down to the end of this road down there, there's a, a rifle range down there as well. It's, this place is amazing. Uh, I got to get back on topic though here. So you've seen, you've seen a bunch of the pictures, you've seen that kind of stuff. So uh, in those cabins there that I'm talking about though, it's amazing because you can, you can actually bring, if you think it's going to be too hot, you can bring a little window unit, put a window unit in there because they, I saw them do that. Uh, you can bring a little refrigerator, one of the smaller refrigerators and put in there. I saw them do that uh, while they were out there. So uh, whatever you think that you, if you've been to Sukkot before, you kind of know what you need. Okay. So whatever you think you're going to need uh, for Sukkot, bring it. Uh, the the cabins are amazing. The, the facilities are amazing. You're, I, I don't want, I, I'm telling you, even as much as it sounds like I'm overselling this place, I am way underselling this place. When you get there, you're going to see how amazing this place is and how Yahweh has absolutely provided for us. Um, stay connected. Uh, that's number seven, and, and that's where I'm going to kind of end this thing. Uh, go, go, actually, actually, let me, let me take you to a different page here. Uh, I'm going to take you down to monitor one. You can see what my little readings put there, but I'm going to get you off that page. So go to www, everybody see up here, www.awakentotorah.com. And I mean, you can see the website. It's super cool. Everybody sees, I mean, it's got Tents of Israel, Fifth Sabbath. It's got all the, all the cool stuff on it. Some articles, some videos, some books that I've written, all of that kind of stuff. Super cool. Okay. So go back up here to the top. Okay. You can see Fifth Sabbath, Tents of Israel, watch now. And now here is our newest venture, Talks. So click on the Talks. That's going to take you over to register. Uh, there's a little video here uh, that, that if you want to watch, it kind of gives you a little, it's an explainer video. Uh, actually, I'll play just a little bit of that. Shalom, Covenant Keepers. Awaken the Torah Ministries invites you to celebrate school. Okay, so that's that's kind of a little scripted thing that that I did there. Uh, you can read more information about Sukkot here, and then keep scrolling down, and then you'll get the registration form. Go to the registration form, and I want I want to show you a couple key things. So I'm just going to type my name in here, uh, James Gillespie, and then I'm going to put my age, nineteen when I was 19 and then I'm just going to tab over and when I tab over if you look it says it says volunteer mark as volunteer so if you click that then all of these volunteer positions are going to open here when they open just click a few of those whatever you think that you would be interested in then when you get there we'll get you regist registered for all of that uh let me let me show you some pricing because I, I know that's what everybody that's what everybody's looking for so I'm going to go down here to accommodations. Okay. So accommodations, rough camping, $25 a night. We have 18 RV spots, $35 a night. We have six, four bedroom or four bunk cabins. Uh, they're $75 a night. We have 14, two bunk cabins with one queen bed. They're $60 a night. Uh, one, three bedroom, uh, or three, three bunk cabin, uh, that's $60 a night. 11 two bunk bed cabins for $50 a night. 40 uh, bed male dorm, uh, that's $15 a bed. And a 44 bed female dorm uh, at the lodge, it's upstairs and downstairs there, there at the lodge for $15 a night. Okay, so I'm, I'm telling you, this is the most, you can't stay at a hotel, you can't, I'm just, I'm telling you, this is amazing what Yahweh has done here. Okay, uh, so so check this out. Uh, I, I want to mention one more thing. We don't have T-shirts yet. Okay, this is this we're just putting this thing together. But you can click on T-shirts, and we're going to try to get somebody to make them between now and then. Uh, if you buy them here on the site, if you go ahead and buy them, and for some reason we aren't able to produce them before Sukkot, uh, we're going to give you your money back when you get it Sukkot. 
uh, that'll all be in your in your welcome package and all that kind of stuff. So uh, if we weren't, if we if for some reason the t-shirt thing falls through, we're just going to write you a check and we're going to put that in 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 your um, in your package when you check in for Sukkot. Okay, so so now if you're going through the registration, I want the head of household name and address, uh, email, phone number. Then you're going to register everybody in your family. So you, I think we put it to where you can register 10 people. Okay. Yeah. 10 people at once. So that's going to open up 10 registration fields for 10 different people who, who's going to open, you know, just go through the process. Um, then you're going to click how many nights you're staying. The maximum amount of nights you can stay is nine nights. That's all we have available for the, for the camp. Okay. You can't get there a day early. You can't stay a day late. So there's no sense in even asking unless you want to stay at a hotel down down the road. I mean, that's that's just the way that 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 has to be because the father literally reserved these days for us. It's a you'll hear the story a hundred times. It's amazing what the father did here. Uh, but uh, if you if you have stuff that you want to sell at Sukkot, if if you're an artist and if if you have you know. Uh, we have a lot of people who who make Judaica, and if you're making that kind of stuff and you want to to sell that in the community, uh, bring it and reserve a revert, reserve a booth there at the marketplace. Uh, we we love that. A lot of people that's some of their favorite things at at Sukkot, uh, is being able to go and and uh, support uh, like minded believers in in their business ventures. Okay, so meals. That's the last thing I want to talk about here. Okay, so meals eighteen dollars a day. You're gonna have to figure this up for yourself. So, I like for me, I ordered uh, six days worth of meals for everybody in my family. Okay, so six. We have four people in our family. So six, six, um, four, four times six is twenty four. So I purchased twenty four meals. Okay, that's what I purchased for myself. Uh, again, we're not making, I don't know if I said this, maybe I need to say this. We're not trying to make any money off of this because everything that comes in is going to, uh, Tom and Camp Eagle Rock, uh, except for the t-shirt, uh, the t-shirt thing, uh, that, that money, I mean, we'll go to pay for the t-shirts and the, the money for the, for the marketplace, that'll go to pay for the marketplace, but everything else, if, if we're just going to Pass your money on to Tom and Camp Eagle Rock. Uh, it's it's just amazing the way the Father has worked this thing out. That we we don't want to make money. Uh, we we want to provide a, a thing for everybody. Uh, there'll be donations there if you want to help support the ministry. There'll be a do donation box if you want to do that. Great. Uh, there's donation boxes on the site. Um, if you if you want to support the ministry, that's all of that stuff. I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is you getting to Sukkot uh, and us having a time of fellowship and worship together. So let me let me pull me back on the screen here for just a minute. Um, I think I've went over everything. So go to www.awakentotorah.com. Registration is now open. Uh, read about it. Go through there. Fill out your registration. We are so excited to see. We are so excited to worship with you to to get to know you uh we're so excited to see yahweh use you in whatever gifting that he's placed in your life so go right now to uh, awakentotorah.com and register uh, and we will see you at awaken the torah uh talks event shalom alechem covenant keepers and children of israel we'll see you next time at awaken the torah <laughs>